Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I am at a garage sale. And what do we do at garage sales? We look for things to flip. So that's what I'm doing here. Some of the items I sold on Whatnot and the rest of the items have been listed on eBay and cross-posted to Poshmark and Mercari with List Perfectly. So in this video, I am going to show you some of the things that I picked up to flip for a profit. I want you down in the comments to tell me if there's anything that you think that I missed and that you may have picked up. Now, that is really cool. Maybe I should have bought that and pieced it out, parted it out, or I don't know. I did pick up these frames and those are going to seem so vintage and she is going to make brooch frames. So I'll tell you more about that later on and she will be selling those on whatnot she's having an all handmade show in november all right this is i'm calling it a brooch frame and i did pick this up it is vintage and amazing you can see i've got it listed there but look what i can do all right so i am on list perfectly this is new so i'm over on list perfectly under their new ai create a listing and I am adding my photos and I'm doing them one by one. You can also upload them to your photos first and then do it that way. But right now I'm just showing you how I add. You could actually probably even do this at the garage sale if you wanted to. So basically this helps you list faster. It generates a title, it generates a description, and we're going to go into more of that here in a little bit. Now, the hard thing with this one is that it's such a unique item. And again, sometimes I like to upload directly to my photos and then come back. But for this example, I'm showing you how to list directly into List Perfectly, taking the photos and adding them. So I'm uploading the images and then I'm gonna click on listing assistant. I'm gonna click just the facts. You can use funny, there's all kinds of different options and it is going to generate a title and a description for me. Again, this is kind of an artisan made item so probably going to be interesting what it comes up with. So you can see here is the title and I am gonna take this title and I am gonna tweak it to make it what it actually is. So I'm putting in my custom skew. I got this at a garage sale for $1. And I'm gonna put where in my inventory I have this item so that when it sells, I will be able to find it. I also like to put where the item is located. So eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And then I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna fill out the item specifics as needed. And then you can see the description that they had. Well, well, I'll show you that in a second. Let's go back to this. We can edit the image. You can also use the Photo Room background app remover that is connected to List Perfectly. That is a part of the service that you get with List Perfectly. And if you guys like this and you want to try List Perfectly, you can get 30% off your first month with my referral code. It is Bolo Buddies, all one word. The link is in the description. And then just make sure you put in Bolo Buddies as the code when you go to check out. And I have been using List Perfectly since 2019, but they have tons of new updates. I was on the business plan and recently just upgraded to the pro plan. If you would like to upgrade to a plan that you have never been on, you can also use code Bolo Buddies to upgrade to a plan you have never been on. So those links, um, the referral link is down in the description and then type in Bolo Buddies, all one word. All right, so I'm just filling out all of the information that I need. Once I do that, I'm gonna save this into the List Perfectly catalog. And when you look, it's going to show you my listing right there. Then I'm going to cross post it, which we will dig into later on in the video. So we're back at the garage sale and I'm just kind of looking through and seeing what else they have. Probably could have picked up more items, but I am being more uh, picky because I'm doing more on list. I'm doing more on whatnot. Now, I did pick up some items to sell on Whatnot. If you guys don't know what uh, Whatnot is, it is a app 
where you can sell things auction style. There is also a buy it now section, a marketplace. So basically what I do is I go live and I sell things over there and I absolutely love it. I hope you guys will join me at a show. I usually start things at $5 or less. I am Bolo Buddies over there, all one word, no spaces. And I do have a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop when you join with my referral link. So that is the WhatNot app. So I hope you guys will come over, come to a show. I do a lot of jewelry, but I also do pick up random items and I have different types of shows as well. Um, I believe I bought that. I think I sold that on WhatNot. Uh, there were probably four or five items that I sold on WhatNot. Now, here is another item that I picked up. It is a really cool vintage toilet paper holder. So that is listed. And then again, I'm just kind of looking through the different items that they have at the sale, trying to decide what do I want to pick up. All right, we're going to keep looking here. Again, shout out down in the comments what you think I left behind. There's lots of cool items. I did pick this up. I sold that on WhatNot as well. Really cool piece. It was signed. I can't remember what it was signed, but uh, that one did sell. Caboodles, vintage caboodles. Some of them can do well. I did pick up the other one right here. This one I did buy, and it is listed. And again, they're kind of hit and miss. They went through a phase where they were really popular. I don't think they're trending as much as they used to, but they may come back around again and definitely will be able to make a profit. I think I paid a dollar for it and I've got it listed for $24.80. And I left the blue one behind. I don't think it had all the components on the inside. So you definitely want to check things when you're at the sale for um, are they complete? Is anything missing? So I'm going to show you again with Express Lister on list perfectly how I'm going to list this item. So I am going to go to my photos. I already have my photos uploaded. So remember before I said a lot of times I will take my photos first. Um, so I gave you an example of the other way of listing the photos directly into list perfectly and this way where I'm uploading them from my photos on my phone. So you guys can decide what you want to do. I'm also going to show you um, how I complete this listing over using the listing assistant on list perfectly. I just absolutely love it. Now I'm going to edit the image here and this is through list perfectly, but they give you so many per month for photo room. So you can see I did a white background automatically. I'm just doing the first photo. You can do as many of the photos as you want, but for this demo, and a lot of times I just do the first photo. Just depends. All right, so now we're gonna click on the listing assistant. Again, I choose just the facts. A lot of people love the funny. Uh, so you click on it and it gives you like a funny description instead of just the facts. Me personally, I just want the facts. So let me know down in the comments if you're using this, do you use just the facts or do you use funny? All right, so we're gonna look at the title here. We're going to update it in any way that is needed. Um, I'm going to add in the specifics. I don't know why I'm paused right now and not doing anything, <laughs> but it is much faster when you're actually doing it. I'm moving very, very slow right now because I'm trying to do a demonstration um, for you guys. So again, where is the item at? How much did I pay for it? I put that in the item specifics. That helps me keep track of everything that I need to know. Now, List Perfectly also has places for that data that you can use and uh, collect the information and help you keep track of things. So definitely check out that as well. All right, let's continue here. Again, I'm kind of going up and down showing you guys different things that you can do. It is much faster when you get the hang of it and you're not doing a tutorial. So. Um, we're going to keep going here. So when you're listing here, you're basically creating the listing on list perfectly, and then you can cross post to any platform that they have available, which there are, I want to say nine or 10 different platforms. I choose Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay as my places to cross post. All right. So we are going to keep going here and I'll just show you kind of how I do it so that you guys can have an example. There's lots of ways you can do it, so you just do it however works best for you. 
All right, we're gonna keep going. Just let you guys kind of watch. And again, I have been with List Perfectly since 2019. Absolutely love it. Uh, they are coming out with so many new features. A lot of the new features are moving to different plans and they're moving things around. So definitely check out that. If you're on the Pro plan, you can opt in to the Pro Plus plan for free. So I recently did that at the same time that I upgraded to the Pro plan. So definitely take advantage of that. The Pro Plus plan is free until the end of the year. And then you can decide if you want to continue on the Pro Plus plan or go back to the Pro plan. It's completely up to you. All right, so we are back at the garage sale. We are looking at more items here. If you guys don't go to garage sales, I highly recommend it. It is so much fun and you can find such amazing deals. All right, so we're gonna look at this table now. And I do pick up some more things at this sale. Again, some of them I sell on Whatnot and some of them I list on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. This is really cute. It's got little stickers on it. It's a jewelry box. I couldn't figure out how to open it. Um, I did leave this behind. There was a mirror down in there and um, I just decided to pass on it. Would you have picked it up? It's got the cute little decal stickers on it that somebody probably added. This thing was cool. There were lots of really neat, interesting items that uh, were available. This, I'm not sure what this thing is, but definitely uh, different. I don't know what you hook it to. Does anybody know what on earth that is? Those wall sconce lights were pretty cool. Probably should have grabbed those. Little puppy dog, little trinket box, just lots of really cool vintage items. Again, probably should have grabbed more but trying to be more picky because I have so many items. <laughs> I'm really struggling at get thing, getting things open. I just left that behind. So open up everything. You never know if there's gonna be something inside of uh, something. So basically you just check everything. So far, not finding anything special. This is an old uh, tissue box. I really feel like maybe I should have picked that up. Isn't that neat? Would you guys have grabbed that? I should have grabbed it look at this now this thing's huge so i did leave it behind but i believe it's an old wedding it's maybe like a veil or a gown i can't remember but uh just interesting i probably could have sold it and if you guys do vintage and antique clothing that probably would have been something that you would have picked up so i love the little uh goody totes here with all of the little miscellaneous items uh, I didn't grab a whole lot from here, but I definitely could have uh, lots of little boxes and different things that you can package things in. That's always a good pickup there. So um, let me know if you see anything you would have grabbed. All right, we're gonna dig in here for a little bit. I did grab a few items, but nothing, nothing big. I should have grabbed all of those boxes. I think I did grab a few of them. There's some cute little things. Um, let me just show you here. These little eggs, little different things like that. Um, can you leave items listed all year long? Absolutely. You can list those items and forget it. Sometimes they will sell off season and sometimes you have to wait until um, the season for them to sell. So sometimes it's a list it and forget it. All right, we're gonna keep digging. I can't remember how much the items were. Uh, I actually went to this garage sale a few months ago and I have been really uh, not very good about doing this voiceover and it's been sitting in my phone. So we are finally getting to it and I love the garage sale videos. I'm sorry that I don't do more of them. I used to do a lot of the Goodwill Bins videos, so if you guys want to see me dig at the Goodwill Bins, you can type in Bolo Buddies Goodwill Bins, and I'm sitting out um, on my porch, and you can hear my wind chimes, so hopefully you like wind chimes, otherwise you're probably going to be like, what is that sound? <laughs> All right, keep on digging. Lots of little... Um, Easter items, fun little things. If you are crafty, this would have been a tote you would have loved. All right. Dig, dig, dig. Little Christmas items, fun little things. All right, I just cut out some of that footage. We're gonna go over to this tote. 
always look in the totes. I did get this. I realized it had a little imperfection on it, but I did sell that on whatnot. Even with a little defect, I always tell you guys, things will still sell even if they have little issues. Uh, I sell broken and replacement parts on eBay all the time. You can also sell those types of items on whatnot because there's a lot of people that craft or they just overlook little imperfections because they want the item. So don't necessarily dismiss something just because it has, um, it's incomplete or has an issue. I just sold a single clip on earring, I think for $50 the other day. Uh, you guys saw in my video before where I sold one for around the same price. This was another one. So I have now sold two single replacement clip on earrings. And I do have a video where I talk about replacement earrings. So definitely check that out if you haven't watched it yet. Lots of videos that talk about items to be on the lookout for. Definitely check those out if you are a reseller. I share bolos, be on the lookout items from other resellers in our community that share in my Facebook group. And I create videos um, about those items. So if you would like to learn about items that are selling for big money, definitely check those out. If you would like to share a bolo, come over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and join it. And at the top, you will find an area that um, says share your best bolo and it's a monthly bolo and you can share there and I will feature it in a Bolo Buddies What Sold Big Money Bolo video. And if you want to shout out your social media or if you have a YouTube channel, you can put it in the comment and I will mention it in the video as well. So it's a great way to get your platforms and social media out there. All right, here we go. Let's keep looking. Do you guys see anything that you think that I missed? At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you some things that I picked up at another garage sale that I did not get actual footage of while I was at the sale. Got some really great items. So let's check those out now. So the first garage sale I went to today, I picked these up for $5 a piece. They are Pendleton and I believe they are made in the USA. So I'm pretty sure these are all vintage Pendleton. And this one's really cool. It's got like the pearl snaps and it says high grade Western wear. So I'm gonna look these up, but my husband may be interested in some of these. So he gets first dibs and if not, I'm actually gonna list clothing, you guys. I figured $5 a piece for Pendleton was a pretty stellar deal, so pretty excited about these. At that same sale, again, I wasn't recording, I picked up this bracelet. I'm gonna say maybe Lucite, but it is signed Kenneth Lane on the inside. I got this for 50 cents, so gonna do some research on that. This one, not sure what this one is, no markings, but a nice big thick bangle, again, 50 cents. I went ahead and just bought this one for 50 cents also. And then each one of these bags was a dollar for everything in it. So I'm not really sure. It looks like just some contemporary, maybe costume, fun jewelry, but definitely wearable and sellable. So really excited about that. But um, yeah, pretty cool. This piece is just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you guys saw my brooch board, but I got that from Seam So Vintage, and she makes them and puts them over on her Buy It Now on what, Whatnot. And I found this frame today, and I am going to send this to her so she can make one of her brooch boards. I also got this one. It's not quite as big, but look how pretty those are. Super cool. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how to cross post the item. So earlier I showed you how I listed the item into list perfectly and again you could do that while you're sitting at the garage sale or shopping i mean you'd be on your phone people might be looking at you funny and i'm trying to record my screen and type at the same time so this part's going to be much slower than it would be if you were actually doing it yourself so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make any tweaks that i need to uh that i need to make by going in and clicking edit I'm going to add the information that I didn't already add. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to cross post the item to Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay from the List Perfectly catalog. Now, I used to start on eBay and I would cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. And what I found was that I was listing to eBay and I 
would just go and list in bulk, cross post in bulk all at one time. So doing it this way, I'm getting the item into list perfectly and I'm getting all of the items onto all three platforms at the same time. More platforms equals more eyes on your items. There's also Etsy, Depop, Grailed, uh, Facebook. There's all different places that you can also list your items. Many that I don't utilize just because I don't have the time. I am eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari only. But as you can see, there's some other ones down below. But you can check out List Perfectly for full details of all of the places that you can cross post your items. So right now I am showing you how I am going to use List Perfectly to go in and use Google Lens to find the item and look at comps that are currently on the internet for this item. Now, these are not sold items, these are current items, but it can give you kind of an idea of where to start your item. You can then go off of current active listings or you can go in and you can search eBay solds. I like to search eBay solds um, also because that's gonna tell me what the items are currently selling for and that will help me price my item better. This item is the one I believe that already sold. I showed you that comp earlier. I listed to eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari at the same time, and this item sold faster on Poshmark. If you are not on Poshmark and Mercari, I also have referral links down below. If you join Poshmark with my referral link, you'll get $10 to shop. If you join Mercari, you'll get $10 to shop, and then another $20 to shop when you uh, sell $100 worth of items. So those are referral links. When you use those, I and actually, buy or sell, complete your tiers, I also get money to shop. So I appreciate it when you guys use those uh, links, referral links down below. I do receive um, commission or a referral credit to shop. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you greatly. So as you can kind of see, I'm just kind of walking you through the uh, process of editing and cross posting using the List Perfectly catalog. But what I think is totally awesome is that if you wanted to, you could at least get the pictures and get your item drafted with the uh, listing assistant right there at the garage sale. How fun is that? So, so again, I'm researching active listings right now to figure out how I'm going to price my item so that I can get it cross posted. What do you guys think about this? Let me know down in the comments. Are you using it? Do you love it? Um, again, if you want to try list perfectly and get all of these new features, they also have the auto delist available on certain plans. So if you go to the list perfectly website with my referral link down below, it will show you all of the levels and what each level offers. So definitely check that out. So right now I am over on eBay and I am searching solds. This is another way to research how you should price your item. I like to search high to low because I wanna see the high end of comps. So you can also search low listings, whatever works best for you. All right, let's check out this. Um, copy, and, copy and paste your title into the description. Should you be doing that? I don't know, I've heard different opinions on that. It's not a must. Uh, it's something I've always done. I have not been doing it as much. Uh, since I've been using the new listing assistant, but it is an option. All right, so I'm really just walking you guys through the process. You can kind of watch the video and see exactly what I am doing. Right now, this you do not have to do. It's completely up to you if you want your title into the description. All right, we're gonna just kind of save it um, and cross post it. So again, what do you guys think? All right, we're gonna do another example here. We're gonna click on these two items and we are gonna cross post to the three platforms, eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And this is how you do it. I'm doing two items. It pulls up all the tabs for me and then it is gonna take me to each of the different uh, platforms. It's going to pull all the information over. Super easy. You just kind of check everything. Right now I'm doing eBay and then I will go to Mercari and then Poshmark 
And then for the next item, I will go from eBay to Mercari to Poshmark. Super, super easy, cross post, um, through list perfectly, love it. So if you think this is something you would like, I do have some other videos where I talk about list perfectly. You can type in Bolo Buddies list perfectly and see some of the different things that I am doing with my business using list perfectly. So do I promote my listings? In most situations, yes, I promote at 2% or 2.1%. It really just depends. I don't go much higher than that. I have heard different opinions on whether or not to promote. Some people say that they don't promote at all and they feel like they do better when they don't promote. So I would love to hear you all's opinion on whether you use promoted listings on eBay. Throw that down in the comments. And those of you watching, any feedback you guys have, uh, throw it down in the comments. And if you have any questions, you can put those down there as well. So basically just going through the cross posting uh, process right now, I'm over on Mercari. Again, if you're not on Mercari and Poshmark, I always say more eyes on your items, the more platforms you're on, but you have to do what works best for you. That uh, button up shirt, the Pendleton sold faster on Poshmark. So, hey, you just never know. I am outside. It is a beautiful day. Oh my goodness. It's been getting chilly and today is just absolutely beautiful. How is the weather where you guys are at? Let me know. All right. So this item is now on Poshmark. So now we're going to do the same process with the caboodle on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So going to walk you through that just so you guys can get an idea of how easy it is and yeah so everything that i put onto the list perfectly catalog for the item has transferred over to ebay poshmark and mercari that item is saved in the list perfectly catalog when it sells on one platform it will delist from the other platform if you are on the plan that includes the auto delist. So you guys can check out list perfectly for more details on how all of that works as well. And I've had this video again sitting and waiting on me to do a voiceover. So I am so sorry that I am just now getting this to you guys because you could have been using it all of this time. So my apologies. Definitely check out my video that's titled Starting Over Bolo Buddies, and it talks about some different things that I'm doing, and also Bolo Buddies Game Changer Listing Assistant. Check that one out as well if you want more details on, again, some of the things I'm doing on List Perfectly. Just trying to kind of fill in the space with a voiceover as I continue to show you how to cross post. This is just a demo. A lot of people like examples. I'm a very visual person. I like to see it. So that is what I'm doing here. Thank you guys so much for being here and thanks for watching.